da, 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 da. <laughs> da, da, da. Just get louder. <laughs> yeah, <why not>? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Marie's Radio. Right yeah. Milestone, punk. <laughs> What's going on, you know? They're like, what the hell are you? You look like a cross between a lumberjack and a California raisin. <laughs> what you doing right now? <laughs> hey, welcome to the show, everybody. Believe it or not, under all this purple, it's one of your critiques, Corey Coleman, this evening. And over here, I got the captain. The captain. Proud black American over here. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Thomas. Hey. AKA old, good old Cap. And. Negro who didn't bother to dress up. <laughs> you know? uh, excuse me, sir. I'm a Wakanda sleeper agent. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, get, get, excuse get right. me. Get excuse right. me. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. Corey Goodwin over there. Hey, How I'm you doing, man. sir? Pretty good. We promise you a non-spoiler review of Avengers Infinity War. And there's a, I mean, come on. This is 10 years in the making. There's a lot to talk about there besides is. spoilers Andy. in here. Yeah. And glad to have y'all here. And I'll talk about the reason why I'm in my costume in a little bit. But let's welcome. A oh, few that's other a costume. Yup. Yeah, oh man, that's, you know I want to do this no more. You talk about me like that. Hurt my feelings. <laughs> Sad Debo. <laughs> my, my grandmama gave me that chain. <laughs> Debo Thanos has feelings too. Believe it or not. Debo's. Yeah. Debo's. <laughs> now I know. Oh shit! It come that 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 villain that everybody hates. The shirt slinger. <laughs> <laughs> it's going down the street with a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Go to DTMerch.com and check out all of the shirts, all of the hats, backpacks, phone covers, and more that we have over there. Then become a subscriber. And you can try the service out seven days for free if you go to DoubleToasted.com. Use that Amazon account uh, with our Amazon pay button. Put in that username. Put in that password. Press in. Ooh, ooh, shit, I think I feel my superpowers coming on. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, I guess in a way, if you want to say that all that toasted goodness is the source of that power right there, you will probably check out some amino trivia that Sammy made this evening. You heard a few reactions, some reviews. I'm going to let y'all know that those are the people, you know, they were under the influence. Mm -hmm. Sure. Of all that glitter. They've been swept up. They've been swept up. Mm -hmm. You know, they were taken to the premiere. The Avengers showed up in person. Wined and dined. Wined and dined. You <laughs> Sad know. T'Challa. Oh, yeah. They got you. Yeah. <laughs> Don't make me do this again. <laughs> Wakanda forever. But, you know, y'all probably got, you, know, you got swept up in the energy of the people who were there first. See, there's a, there's, there's a, there's, there's a, there's a benefit to being second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah. that, that's being real. You know, we, we saw, we didn't get all the glitter and the hype. We didn't get to hang out elbow to elbow with the Avengers and Tony Stark in person. You know, we went to this ragged ass theater down the street. Yep, same saw one we always at. One we always at, and saw it like the common people, which means you are going to get an honest to goodness review right here. It's been ten years in the making, eighteen movies deep into it. We are talking about Avengers: Infinity War, and the whole time, Thanos just been sitting in the background, saying, "You know, <laughs> for eighteen movies, for eighteen movies on that chair, on that lazy boy, just sitting there, like you know what? I don't want everybody to think I'm a control freak." Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let some of these henchmen and some of these lower villains go out there and do 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 that thing. Now he's micromanaging. Yeah, yeah now he's but you know that's what a smart villain does. Just like I say, you know they you get you get these people responsibility. Fuck up, and finally Thanos said ten years later, <laughs> like, God after damn it. eighteen movies, <laughs> God damn it, I'll do it myself. <laughs> I ain't lurking in the background no more. No more stingers. Where you see me sitting on a chair, you just see the side of my face. Hey, it's me, everybody. <laughs> you know none of that. Everybody think I'm a villain. No, I'm doing what I'd have to do to save the galaxy. Thanos, you're always talking about death. You want to kill half the people in the in the universe. And the guy, what the how that don't sound good to me. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at this trailer. Y'all have seen it already, but let's just prepare ourselves one more time with the Avengers trailer. And then we will get on with our so I got it ready with our review. Let's talk about this plan of yours. I think it's good, except it sucks. So let me do the plan, and that way, it might be really good. Wow. How are they going to say shit? <laughs> they can't even get along themselves. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump into whether this just simply works. Because, look, if you got, if you have uh, 10 years worth of movies, you got 18 movies already made. Boy, that's a lot of heroes. When you bring all these heroes together, 
that's where we can finally say it's a miracle if it even works halfway. Mm-hmm. Because it's fucking insane. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you go, if, here's, the, here's the deal, man. If you go back right now and look at the first Iron Man, if you look at Iron Man 1 right here, you will, you, you, you will see how grounded this movie feels. Now, if you would have like stopped watching Iron Man and skip all, you know, skip about 16 movies and just jump into what we have now, uh-huh. you would be like, what the fuck is going on here? This ain't the same franchise. Yeah, no, <laughs> this is insane. Mm. If you could if you make that jump from the first Iron Man to Avengers Infinity War, you will say that this movie, this this universe has lost its <laughs> mind. Yeah. Yeah. That is somewhat some praise and also a warning. Because for all those grandmothers out there. For all those black mamas and uncles and people who don't go see superhero movies who somehow got wrapped up into the, the latest marketing for <laughs> Avengers Infinity War. He run back! He run back! He run back! Hey, baby! Black Panther 2 out! We're going to see it Friday, right? <laughs> Two months after the first one. Yeah. <laughs> sure thing, Grandma. <laughs> yeah. be mad as hell. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You you go ahead and take grandma. Take black grandma to go see this. You're going to kill her. This, <laughs> this movie will give her a heart attack. Well, just let her go to sleep and then wake her up two hours later. <laughs> Are we here? We're here. <laughs> hey, grandma, we in Wakanda. Huh? <laughs> no, this is, uh, th- this is not for the people who have not even not seen uh, Black Panther, but if you haven't kept up with any of these movies right here, if you haven't watched, uh, I-, I would damn near say, if you have not watched 95% of these movies, mm-hmm. then th- I don't know what to tell you because this is for those people who were dedicated. This is for those people who were who were actually uh, putting in the work and putting in the time. And not to say that you can't enjoy it. My wife saw it today and she's like, mm, superheroes beating the shit out of each other. You know? <laughs> they, really, they really like jewelry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I expected her to tell me. She's like, hate it. <laughs> <laughs> why, why do you insist why, on bringing me to this yeah. shit? We, the reason why I say that it's a miracle that it works as, as much as it does is because, you know, like I said, you don't know how crazy this universe is until you throw all these heroes into one movie. Where we have talking raccoons hanging out with trees, Norse gods, green giants, a, a cat man running around in Africa, and many, many other things. And yet... Marvel has conditioned us to never say, what the fuck? <laughs> Behind you. <laughs> I wish you would. <laughs> well, you get ready to say it. They're like, listen, did you enjoy yourself or not? Well, yeah. Well, then it, what, what does it matter? Then what does it matter? What is, and, and the thing about it is, is that and not only not only are you not saying what the fuck, but you are going to take it seriously. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, that raccoon is going to give you some drama. <laughs> <laughs> There's about a, a, a 10 hero limit of having superheroes on the screen before your sanity starts to unravel. Yes. <laughs> you know I mean? Yeah, man. Because it got to a point in here where there's just so much stuff going on at one time. It's like, all right, I'm engaged and I'm having fun, but I'm so confused as to what's happening here. Well, they kept, they broke everything into quadrants. So mm-hmm. you're like, all right, we'll deal with these guys right here and deal with these guys right here mm-hmm. and deal with these guys right here. And with each one of them, even though they were working on different things, they all had the same goal. So that's what kept it together. I was that was at a point where I, I even I kind of golf clapped. I said, you know, bravo, man. Mm-hmm. N- not too many people can pull this off. <laughs> you <No>. know, <laughs> DC. But you know, what I'm saying? Damn. <laughs> oh, you had to that's, pull it out. That's there. my they last one. Right. One story, oh, right? Oh, no, you're no, not no, going to no, juggle no, like no. five of them. Eighteen years, eight, eighteen movies, and. And, and, and 10 years has paid off for them because these characters are so well developed. The personalities blend so well when interacting with each other that all the work had been done already. Mm-hmm. You know, everything, you know, what, what, what most movies need to like build within one movie, they've managed to do over the span of 10 years. And so more than enough groundwork has, has been has been done. Mm-hmm. All you do is just tip over the box and let these superheroes beat the shit out of each other at this point. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> yeah. You know, you see these, these heroes beating the shit out of each other or at least talking shit to each other. We've seen these characters grow and that's even more apparent when they meet each other. You know, you have, uh, you have these characters who you see 
in their own movies where they have their story arcs. Mm-hmm. But those story arcs take on a whole new meaning once they start interacting with some of the other heroes. Sure, right. And that's really, it's, it's a, again, it's a brilliant move that's paid off for Marvel. Except for Tony Stark. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> because Tony, Tony, boy, Tony ain't learned a damn thing all these years. You know, whether you think Stark has done a lot to because there's even articles where Stark is the real villain in these movies, man. Yeah, yeah. Whether you I think, probably wrote one of those. Whether you think <laughs> St- I know, yeah, man. Because whether you think Tony Stark is a, is is a person that's changed, or whether you think he's still a, a hazard, the thing that Stark will always do is disrespect. Yeah, it's Tony Stark <laughs> will always talk shit. In this one scene, right, this is what I love about these characters is that they, they, sometimes you see how much they grow and you see how much of these characters ain't learned a damn thing. Er, early in the movie, it ain't five minutes that Tony Stark has met Doctor Strange where he's walked up in his home and said, you know what? Fuck your couch. <laughs> Tell me his name again. Thanos. You could destroy life on a scale hitherto undreamt of. I'm seriously leaning on the cauldron of the cosmos. Is that what it is? <laughs> By the way, I didn't let everybody know the movie comes with a soundtrack. Our yeah, laugh yeah, yeah, track. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what the hell? <laughs> yeah, the movie's turned into, also into an ABC sitcom. <laughs> <laughs> or a Big Bang Theory. <laughs> 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 CTV. <laughs> <laughs> What they, what they call that the, the, on Friday with Full oh, House and all those? TGIF. TGIF, yeah. TGIF, yeah. TGIF, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tony Stark and Doctor Strange, they got Full House going on. <laughs> and that was great, too, because like everybody, when I remember when Doctor Strange came out, everybody was saying, oh, this is just Iron Man with magic because mm-hmm. they're kind of the same personality. But the second they met up, they're like, uh, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill <laughs> you. No, <laughs> no they, they, you that's copied it. my facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's the great thing. He's like, wow, Martin, you're right. Like, I'll be damned. He really did. <laughs> Start doing that mirror thing. Yeah. <laughs> I was the goatee guy. Yeah. No, you make a good point, man, where it's like, hey, you see that, uh, that uh, 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 you, a lot of people thought that Doctor Strange was just another, he was just a magical Iron Man. Mm-hmm. And it's like, no, nah, they really are two different people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. These characters uh, not only work because of their personalities, but it also works because we don't have to spend a lot of time on them, which allows for the movie to be paced very fast. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, uh, and really, and it looks, it's going to sound like I'm being, I'm, I'm being a smart ass here, but it's almost like someone took a laser light show and added a wrestling match and explosions. Yeah, that was the part that I think would be confusing for, I said like I, I got confused at a moment, but I think it would be confusing for most people because this is moving so fast and we mm-hmm. end up going to places that we that haven't been mentioned in the, the uh, MCU before. Mm-hmm. So you're just like, all right, I, these people are going here and this person mentioned this thing. I was like, all right, they're going to meet up here. Like, no, this, these are two different spots. And I was oh, like, yeah. oh, okay, oh, now yeah. I kind of get it. We've already got character out the way. Uh, we can just get into tons, tons of fight scenes. I mean, I mean, you talk about people just beating the shit out of each other in the most glorious ways possible. They do that scene after scene. They'll have, you know, they'll stop for a little bit because they're tired. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or they got to give a speech. Man, <laughs> man, you want to you do some plot? <laughs> yeah, man, sure. <laughs> do we have to? Hey, man, you want to you talk about the story for a little bit? Yeah, man. <laughs> Development where, and shit. Where are we on the outline right now? <laughs> Yeah, and they'll, will, they'll have moments where they will stop and characters will have dialogue. Mm-hmm. They will have story development, but we don't need, you know these characters after all these years. And if you don't, well, then too bad. This is meant for the fans out there. Uh, but it's enough to entertain where it moves so fast. Now, that can also be, that can also be a fault, I think, because the movie can move too fast sometimes uh, where it feels just, it feels a, a, a manic yeah, some parts, I mean, it, even though it's done very well, some parts just feel like, all right, we just threw this in there really quick just to keep the story going and, like you said, to have a plot for a moment and then we're back to the next thing. It feels yeah. like, I mean, I'm sure that's what their goal was, but it feels like a legit comic book mo- a comic book TV show. Because mm-hmm. I feel like in those, like, old X-Men and old Spider-Man things, you'd be able to follow multiple groups and they'd go do their things. And they do it here, but I think to, to do that for two and a half hours, it kind of works against the movie. Yeah, it really does. It's like a kid who has too many action figures. Yeah. You know, they're just all putting little piles and he's just playing with different one of them before he starts losing his fucking mind. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Now I'm Iron Man and Star Lord. Now I'm Thor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's 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 fun and it's cool, but it can you know, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of heroes that they're cramming in here and they in you said it. 
they get short burst. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it was you that said that. They get they get chunks. They get short burst. We are. I mean, we you know we we are planet trotting. Yeah, you know, a lot. And it's only so much time that these characters get. So for somebody who hasn't seen the the movie, it's it can it can be seen as short on character development. For those who have seen it, it still can be like, man, you know, it's good to have a laugh with these guys. It's good to like get some further development with them in certain ways as far as interacting with each other. But wow, man, you know, it's moving so fast. And it really does just turn into a brawler type of film. For the heroes, having this very fast pace, not so much of a problem. I mean, you can complain about some things. Not so much of a problem. Thanos is getting a lot of attention. So there's no real problem there. As I said, we're getting that in a little bit. But, you know, for anybody else who's not a major character or somebody new, and that's it could be seen as somewhat of, of maybe a detriment. Uh, Thanos' children, the Black Order. Mm -hmm. you know, we got Black. Uh, <clears throat> we have a Black Dwarf. We have a, a Proxima Midnight. I'm looking at the order they come in. Uh, Ebony Ma and, and, and Corvus uh, Glaive right here. They are. They're pretty much. They say his children, but they're pretty much henchmen. Well, yeah. all of his quote unquote children are people who were left over like after he slaughtered their race. So it's like, all right, well, you, I, I'll keep with. with. <laughs> and see, that's one of the things, Martin, that you bring up. They don't. We don't know that when we see uh, uh, the the Black Order. We don't know that these are adopted kids that you know the parents were killed, and he and he's like, "Hey, I'm your new daddy now." Yeah, you I know? mean, that, that just could be a nickname he threw on him, like yeah. Destiny's Child. Yeah, ex exactly. <laughs> Which wasn't Beyonce. Here. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be Ma. It's got to be Beyonce. Man, of Coachella, we gonna get that Black Order reunion. I know that. <laughs> Beyonce actually comes out dancing with. Him. <laughs> yeah. I think actually Beyonce dressed up in one of these costumes at Coachella. <laughs> I think but, she did. <laughs> <laughs> but you know the uh now that's not saying that they're bad because uh you know they 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 are they're badass henchmen. You know, they do cool things. They got badass costumes. But still they don't go anywhere beyond being a hench a henchman. And like I said they they're cool and they really are they 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 are kind of frightening in how fierce they are mm -hmm. except when Captain America whooping that ass. <laughs> We don't want to kill you, but we will. You ever think that the Avengers go back and they have a discussion where, you know, Falcon don't have no powers. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, wait a second. Like, we've seen other people get their asses handed to them. Like, like, but like, they're like, oh, we got it. <laughs> like the Falcon hanging out with the Avengers, like he really got like mutant powers or like he got like superpowers. Mm. There's a Negro that just found wings one day. Dude, and and I, have to, I know. And if I have to say, like he stole them. <laughs> yeah. yeah but, but once they let Hawkeye in, they can't backtrack on the rules after that. But Hawkeye's like, man, I worked years for this skill right here. This motherfucker went to Wang Stop, <laughs> put him on his back, <laughs> and all of a sudden, he, no, all of a sudden no. he hanging out with us. No, 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 no. They explained he was part of an elite military force with just him and one other guy that know soldier. how to how to work those wings. And buddy got shot out of the sky. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Martin, there's a difference between an elite squadron, a force out there, the Navy SEALs, and the Avengers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, well, apparently not. Martin, I, like, well, what powers Black Widow have? Oh, she again. She's Russian. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, and he has the power of Cap vouching for. Her. Okay, that's it. Yeah, that, that's it. That's all you need. Are, are y'all really not gonna yeah. let my black friend yeah. join the yeah. Avengers? Yeah. Shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, somebody get him oh. some Starbucks. Yeah. Uh, hold on, Falcon. Police, he's with me. <laughs> <laughs> Saved another life today. <laughs> It's almost like the villains don't even want to kill the Falcon. Right. Well, it'd be kind of racist if we did that. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Fuck, man. Let him, let him, let, hey, let him, let him put one bullet in you. <laughs> they keep dragging Don Cheadle back. His legs don't even work. Yeah, and he like, ain't done nothing. Hey, we need representation. <laughs> Boy, the affirmative action is so strong, even aliens don't want to come down and fuck with you. <laughs> no, man. We don't want a lawsuit with this one. <laughs> yeah. But to get, um, to, to get back to the point with uh, the, the Black Order, I feel like they were used more as a plot device to develop uh, Thanos more because, like, Mm -hmm. Ebony Ma would go on his rants. Like, yeah. It would all Ooh. be about Thanos this, Thanos that, Thanos Boy, everything. I've got to tell you, I'm talking about how they were underdeveloped, but Ebony Ma was the one that I love, man. Oh, yeah. Because he, he would talk mad shit when he come down. Oh, yeah. Like he was. <laughs> it just float, too. He, yeah, just. Hey, yeah. <laughs> oh, y'all gonna fight me? Okay. <laughs> and Thanos just being the back. That was his hype, man. Thanos just being the background with his, with his arms crossed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thanos' flavor flag. <laughs> <laughs> 
man, he come, he would come down and talk some shit. Mm-hmm. He Calm would, too, not he, not breaking a sweat, barely moving. Oh no, and being no. sassy. Yeah. 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 Oh no, finger on his lips. <laughs> Greetings, assholes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've come to do you a favor by killing you because your life ain't shit anyway. Damn, man. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> People just kind of like, fuck it, man. I'm just going to shoot myself. <laughs> I mean, he makes a point. <laughs> now, wait a minute, man. Oh, shh. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> nah, man. Ebony Ma was really cool. And the guy that voiced him was uh, was really cool, too. Yeah, who it, was that guy? It was a guy named uh, 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 Tom Val Law. Damn, it looked like they just took his nose off and put a wig on him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, look at him. Ain't no uh-huh. difference between this and, this and this actor right here. No, I think the, 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 the guy that voiced him was, uh, I mean, he's doing that whole British villain thing. Mm-hmm. But I thought that, but, you know, and it's nothing new to the character. But I just thought Ebony Ma was... Uh, for the short time we got to know him, I just I just loved the character, how smarmy he was. Yeah, he had probably the most lines of the villains outside of Thanos because yeah. he's like, listen, this is my job. These other people are here to fuck up shit. I'm here to let you know you're about to be fucked up. <laughs> but if we want to get into what you guys, you know, we've been itching to talk about Thanos, man. And I have to say that Thanos in this movie, you know, a lot of people are saying that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of flip-flopping between him and Killmonger, man. With Killmongers, it was like, sorry, spoilers if you haven't seen Black Panther. Uh, his thing was like, all right, we're going to kill everybody and their kids and all this other stuff. You're like, man, that's kind of messed up to do this to a certain group. Thanos was like, yo, <laughs> here's what I'm going to do, and I hope you like it. And it's, I'm helping. This, I'm, I got a reason to do I'm this. I'm helping. You might not like the way it works out for you, but for the universe as a whole, it's the best oh, thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have to say that I... You know, I, I've sat back and I debated about Killmonger, and I finally just came to the judge. I've had so many debates with people. I said, Killmonger had a, a good idea. He had the germ of a good idea. He, the germ yeah. of a good idea, but the dude is, you know, he, he's, he's, he, is, uh, he was going to commit genocide. Mm-hmm. Yes. For no reason other than, I'm angry. Yeah. <laughs> he had targets. Thanos is uh. <laughs> And with Thanos, Thanos is... Uh, you listen to him, man, and, and his ideas are developed. And before you even say that, it's uh, they took a character to me just seen. I don't know that much about Thanos from the from the comics, but it seems silly his motivation mm-hmm. because his whole thing is he met death, and somehow death, the Grim Reaper, and who we think it is, Grim Reaper got a big pair of tits or something because he's, <laughs> he's been the whole time trying to have sex with death. Yep. And death says, "You want this right here? Impress me." Kill half the universe. And he's like, shit, okay. Oh, oh, is that all? <laughs> <laughs> is that it? Yeah, he wanted that ass bad. Mm-hmm. And it just seemed like that was a... Uh, that no ass bad. <laughs> <laughs> the girl with the bony ass in the universe. <laughs> he want that. But he's, you know, he, he wants to kill half the universe because of death. Uh, and that's comic book stuff right there. That's cool. It doesn't make, to me, a well... It was uh, a very dev- 70s LSD kind of idea. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't, re- yeah, exactly. You know, going that cosmic route, and it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. This Thanos that we have right here, I think, is a great villain. Mm-hmm. Made so much better than the comics. That's because Thanos is very emotional in this movie, man, as far as uh, getting us to be sympathetic and even empathetic to what he's doing. Um, and also because this movie has so many heroes that were going between. Mm-hmm. So many heroes that were just, you know, uh, uh, having uh, bits of scenes with, and most of it is fighting. You get the most story from Thanos. His story unfolds the most. That was actually one of my favorite things about this is mm-hmm. that Tony, that yeah, Tony Stark was not the driving force of the movie because almost every movie he's in, mm-hmm. he, he's he kind of takes over, mm-hmm. right. or, or or at least tries to. Yeah. And now here, there's so much going on, he can't. He's he's really he's really relegated to his quadrant, mm-hmm. but it's so much more Thanos' movie than it is his. It really mm-hmm. is. And here's the thing about Thanos: what makes him such a cool character is that you know y- y'all have been uh, watching Thanos in these trailers, and y'all saying, "Man, Thanos, he ain't nothing but an asshole, a sociopathic asshole that just loves to kill." Fun isn't something one considers when balancing the universe. But this <laughs> does put a smile on my face. Okay, he does like to kill. You know? <laughs> oh, he he does. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, that's the thing about Thanos is that we don't get him. He's not uh, apocalypse where he's screaming proclamations in the air. Mm-hmm. He's uh, he's not trying to really uh, impress people or going for power just for power's sake. He's very calm and focused. He's also scary. And he, they let you know within the first 25 seconds 
that he means fucking business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's no there's no bullshitting around. There's no talking your way out of shit. <laughs> it's <laughs> no. going to go down and you're not going to like it. And he's going to calmly explain. Let me tell y'all something. Back in the day, when when kids used to get whoopings and spanked, my, my, our, our generation, Martin, the scariest ass whooping you got is when your mama sat you down and explained to you how you fucked up before you got that ass whooping. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I know my mom, but 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 no, 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 baby, here's what you did, and I love you, and this is for your own good. But you still gonna get that ass whooping. It is almost like your mom talked to you nice, lovingly, where you thought at the end, like you were good. Yeah, well, maybe maybe we <laughs> yeah. we work this out like rational adults, then we can just walk away. Oh yeah, oh yeah, no, and it's like, and she'll even tell you, Mama, love you. You still gonna get that ass whooping? <laughs> Shit, I thought you loved me. <laughs> it hurts me more than it hurts yeah. you. No, it don't. No, no. Don't lie to no. me. And that's the thing about Thanos. Thanos will come down. He calmly would. Look, what I love about Thanos is that he tells you. He's like, look, for normal people, I usually come down and do my 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 my, my Samuel Jackson Pulp Fiction thing. You know, I, I get my. It's a rain down Terry. Yeah, 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 I get a little proverb. Something that sounds cool. Mm -hmm. But now that I got to deal with you, super, you superhumans and you superheroes. You know, y'all think y'all know everything. Yeah, you know, now that I got, you know, y'all, I gotta, you know, I actually got to put some effort. Y'all gonna lose, but I gotta put some effort forth. So here's the deal: before we even start fighting, can y'all just listen to my side real quick? <laughs> Why don't y'all read these pamphlets real quick before you get into it? Because he, he explains he's very he's very practical mm -hmm. and he's very and he's very calm and there's no shit talking with him. Mm -mm. It just feels like, all right, I'm doing this and here's my reasoning why, and it doesn't come off as, all right, I'm just killing everybody to kill everybody. No, and he has a reason for what he's doing. And I have to be honest with you, his reason made sense. It's valid. It's it's valid. It's proven. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he actually, yeah. he, he's like, oh, you got a point. He actually tells you, he's like, listen, they did not want to do it my way, mm -hmm. and it didn't work out too well for people. But when I did it this way, <laughs> yeah, it worked. And it's been a method that's been working for years. Mm -hmm. You know, and now y'all want to fuck that up. Yeah. You know, why do y'all want to do that when I have a track record? And I'm, and I'm, I'm actually so, he seems like a person that's, uh, that is a dictator that's doing genocide, and he is. But, oh yeah, but it. I mean, really, at the end of the movie, I'm like, man, I'm I'm sorry. Even if I'm even if I die in this, I think I did it for the better cause. He yeah. convinced me that well. <laughs> like like I can see Thanos and Killmonger in a room working out plans. They think they're on the same sheet of music. And Thanos is like, look, I got laid out right here. We're gonna kill half the galaxy, half the universe, and it's gonna be good. And Killmonger gonna come in like, but it's the white half, right? <laughs> sure, man. <laughs> you win. <laughs> you know, and, that, and that's the difference. It's like one had a grudge. Mm -hmm. He really had a plan. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I saw where he was coming from, but I wasn't, I didn't root for him and I wasn't. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 there was a few moments I was like, get him, Dan. <laughs> get him. Yeah, yeah. I really yeah, you can get him. Like, like your plot makes sense and there's a lot of death that's gonna happen but like this works yeah. and it's it's for the betterment of the universe yeah it's almost mm -hmm. like you you see you don't care about the universe that much some of y'all gonna be in the movie theater you're gonna be like get him thanos i, I, I mean tony i mean y'all yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, are gonna you know you're gonna feel for him while y'all out there walking uh, walking around with killmonger was right i'm gonna have my thanos was right shirt on yeah man <laughs> these, these people are not gonna buy some of the more outrageous parts of this movie, like talking raccoons and everything, blending in with some human being characters on Earth, if we don't add some humor in here. Mm -hmm. And I love that they even said, they said, you know, at this point, we know what's working. And they told Thor's, right, right after Thor Ragnarok, you know what? Comedy relief. <laughs> <laughs> that's your role. That's, yeah. Hey, man, whatever you're doing, that's working. <laughs> you a comedian. Just, just keep doing that. Mm -hmm. Now, now we're going to let you cry, you know, a little bit. You're going to sit back where you're going you know, to have your feelings hurt. But uh, you're going to be mostly in the scenes where you give people a chuckle or a good laugh. How is this dude still alive? He is not a dude. You're a dude. This, this is a man. Now you just spit drags it just get on the table and just start fucking. <laughs> well, my wife's gone. This isn't cheating. <laughs> <laughs> this is gay. <laughs> Who are you guys? Join Earth's mightiest heroes. Not today, sir. Are you making your voice deeper? No. <gasps> you just did it again. So cool. <laughs> Expect him to do like radical man. <laughs> you know, it's uh, they turned him into a surfer dude, man. Yeah, I mean, at this he's, point, he's around the Guardians too, so like their whole thing was humor as well. So like, why not? They work together well. Yeah, yeah. it's a movie where 
it even has a theme of of uh, of loss. So don't think that this is something where it's not even some a, a movie where it's all about action, as we've been saying. It's all about comedy, as we've been saying. Or it's too dark. By the end of the film, they have hit that theme of sacrifice and loss very hard. There's one closing shot in here. And it will tell you just how much it, it, it this movie belongs to certain characters. And that, for me, for a movie that, like, I'll even go as far as to say it's downright silly at some points. It's, it's downright ridiculous. Uh, <clears throat> for that last shot that they did, it's a shot that really, it is a, it, it, and they have a stinger here. Stay it. It's, they have one, not two. So don't sit around expecting that. They have one. But, but it's uh, at the very, very end. Yeah, you got to sit through the credits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's at the very end. But the, uh, somebody has one last shot in here, and it meant a lot. Mm -hmm. I said, man, for you to have a movie this crazy, this insane, you should have managed to like kind of wrap it all up and sell it right at the very end to where I'm, I'm questioning all this before. And at the very end, I'm like, man, not only do I buy it, but I'm waiting to see what we do with the next film. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to get my rating. No, it's not. It's not a better than sex movie for me. I do think that this is somebody in the back. Oh, <laughs> you know who it was. I know it's Carlos. <laughs> Carlos is, oh. I, just, I heard him. I just heard uh, Carlos over there. It just mm. broke his heart. I might as well have been dating Carlos and told him we're done. <laughs> this is it. Oh, so you hated it. Yeah, I, mm. We're going to get that. I, wow, man. I, you know what? And I just thought about this. I really am. I'm just going to be on YouTube and people going to be like, wow, man. You just say it sucks. <laughs> you know, man, can't please you with anything, can you? <laughs> man, no, it's a very good movie. It does fall. It, it, it does crumble under trying to do too much to the, to the point where some of this is just a blur. This is a best of movie. This is fan fiction to the be to the best degree. Yeah, and for that, I give it a high full price. A high full price. I really did enjoy it. And I think it's a fun movie. I just don't think that it's a, you know, it's the amazing movie that we've been waiting for all ten years. I one thing that I I don't really don't we talked about much. Um, I like this way more than I did Civil War um, mm -hmm. because there are actually. Things that happen here are like, all right, there, there are consequences. Um, that's something that really didn't happen in Civil War. We came, then we did this, and we're in the same spot. We just did a big-ass circle. But here there are consequences for people's actions. It's not really uh, the end-all, be-all film of Marvel movies. I don't think it's the best one that they've done, but it is a full price film. Yeah. The consequences, that we, as we talked about, you know, there's a big question on, on who dies and who doesn't, and you'd be shocked how, by how quick stuff happens uh, in this movie. And and it just left me with a sense of dread the entire time. They spend most of the humor in the first part of it. The say the first third. That's where you get a lot of the, the humor and the mixing. So that the, the closer it gets toward the end, the more it's just like, man, there's no joking around now. Yeah, it, when it came down to it, I thought, man, this is this is definitely a high full price. I mean, it it's it hasn't quite shown me anything I hadn't seen, and it hasn't made me cry. And then right before it gets, it goes out, it goes like. Wait a minute, here you go. What if I get a tear out of you this way? And I was like, oh, you bastard, you did it. So, yeah, it, it squeaked over to a, a better than sex. All right, then. Well, there you go. Somebody's going to fuck this movie. <laughs> you know, before <laughs> sex. Before we left. <laughs> this movie, like, I'm having sex with somebody before I leave this room. Martin. <laughs> I'll surrender. <laughs> I'm going to fuck you till you love me. <laughs> Jesus. Too late. <laughs> Just real quick, we're going to do this quiz. Just real quick on Amino. People go to the Amino app and join our community over there. Tag us at Double Toasted. So real quick, let's all collectively play this. I'll read them because they're long. I'll read them. Okay. All right. Think, yeah. damn. He ran <laughs> right to that microphone. No, I'll all right. them. There are, a lot of them are long. So. Okay. All right. So let's go out. ahead and start the quiz that Sammy put together. He's going to read them. All right, everybody. Uh, three, two, one. Go. What is the first MCU film chronologically? Oh, uh, is Captain it, America, the first Avenger. There it is, right there, yeah, bottom, right. bottom, bottom. Oh, oh Captain America, the first yeah. Avenger. Okay. Martin said it. Martin said it. There it is. All right. What year had the most MCU films released so far? Ooh, somebody help me out with this one. I don't know. Uh, 2017, right? Yeah. 20, you got it, Corey Goodwin? Which Infinity Stone has not appeared in the MCU yet, not counting Infinity War? So! Very good. I would not get any of these, but very good, y'all. <laughs> Which of these Avengers was not on Iron Man's team in Civil War? Black Widow, Black Panther, War Machine, or Hawkeye? Hawkeye. There we go. Hawkeye. Not Question too bad. Number not too five. bad. Is this number five? Question mm -hmm. number five. So far, we've got them all right. How many questions are there? Ten. Ten. What year did Iron Man 3 come out? Uh, uh, 2012. Yeah. Oh, oh, fuck. No. 13, oh, no. 13. Oh, we were Shit. almost 
almost uh, there. It was Avengers. Avengers, Shit. yeah. Yeah, we were almost there. Well, I wouldn't have been able to answer it. I didn't know it. So there you go, people. We're going to leave the rest of the questions up to you. Go to the Amino app and play along. There's a lot of fun. There's more fun when you play with friends. <laughs>